to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm an Army veteran. And today we will be talking about the bill granting cost of living increase for veterans in 2024 heading to the president's desk. But before we get to that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk here on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran and love to share your story and resource for veterans and a non-veteran who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we gotten all that out of the way, let me screen share with you what's going on with our cost of living situation as far as it hitting the president's desk. So this is the article right here from military.com and it talks about a bill um granting the uh, guaranteeing the cost of living increase for veterans in 2024. So as you know, they have projected that there would be a pay increase from all the articles that I've read. Um, and one of the um most reliable sources that I like to use, which is VA claims insiders. I see that they're guaranteeing about a 3.1% increase for um for, for our um monthly compensation that we receive each month and basically this article is just talking about them making that pay increase and I think it's a good thing um that you know they're willing to you know increase our payments the only question is um you know what's going on with you know the debt ceiling and What's going on with, you know, just everything that they're talking about now and as far as, you know, them trying to take money away from us. So, you know, um, it's a good thing that they want to do this because, again, like I said, it'd be beneficial to all of us out there who, you know, um, make their living from the VA. But the one thing I'm seeing and the one thing I'm, you know, taking notice of when it comes down to all this stuff is, um, we can't have all our eggs in one basket. I think a lot of us going to have to ensure that we are doing other things so that if something do happen, a catastrophic event does happen to where, you know, basically um, they don't pay us or they take away from us. You know, we have other options and we didn't put all our eggs in one basket. So um, I just want to read a little bit. of. I want to read this article so that I can help out those veterans who you know, may have a hard time reading so that they know what's going on. So to start out, it says that legislation give veterans a cost of living adjustment on benefits in 2024, likely to result in an increased payment. It's heading to J President Joe Biden's desk for signature following an agreement by the House. The annual procedure done by Congress guarantees that veteran pension and disability payments will keep pace with increase to Social Security supplement security and federal disability income payments. So basically what they want to do is they want to make sure that the VA payments matches what social security is doing as far as them making increases. So to, just as they're increasing social security benefits, they're trying to make sure that they increase our benefits. And they said the exact amount of next year increase have not yet been determined. It is based on the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers and usually is announced at the start of the physical year, sometimes in October. So by October, you know, um, we should have a definite as to what it's going to be. It's that, however, a national advocate group, this um, Senior Citizen League is currently projecting it to be around 3.1%. So that's what the numbers are going to be potentially and i think if you know we constantly hear sources say hey okay this is what the numbers are going to be i believe that's exactly what those numbers are going to look like um it says um social security recipients and the veterans this year saw the largest boost of their cola in nearly four decades an 8.7 rise based on the high inflation experience in the u.s in 2022 S some years however the increase is significantly smaller and at times has been at zero in 2009, 10, and 15, according to the Social Security Administration. The House 
approve the legislation without objection Tuesday at the Senate passed by its um, unanimous consent March 30th. So, um, sponsor of the bill, the Veteran Compensation Cost of Living Act of 2023 says Wednesday that legislation is needed to give disabled veterans and their survivors peace of mind regarding their finances, which again, that's a cool thing. But at the end of the day, man, like I said, I don't believe that we can put all our hope and trust and eggs in one basket, man. We're going to have to put that, put it in the Lord, one. And then two, we're just going to have to find some other ways to, you know, earn an income and not just depend solely on the VA or this government to handle their business because we know they schizophrenia at times and they can change their mind at the drop of a dime. Um, it said our veteran put their lives on the line to defend our country and they deserve certainty when it comes to providing for their families. Montana Senate John Tester, chairman of the Senate Veteran Affairs Committee, said in a statement, we have a responsibility to take care of veterans and their family. Many who rely on VA for financial support say, said Senate Jerry Moran, uh, Republican of Kansas, the committee, um, the committee ranking member ensured their benefits keep pace with rising costs and inflation will provide disabled veterans and certain surviving spouses and children with the, with some peace of mind and provide them stability to deserve. The White House has not announced when Biden plans to perform the pro formal task of signing the bill. So. Right now, from what I'm getting and gathering, is they're waiting to see exactly. Um, uh, we all waiting to see when President Joe Biden will, you know, make those necessary changes. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you a pay chart that I have for uh, from the VA right now as to what the benefits um rate look like, so we can have an understanding what this 3.1 may potentially look like. So as of now, you know, veterans alone are receiving 36, 21 and 95 cent. And that's where it's at now. So if they was to do an increase just for a single veteran alone, we're going to see what the actual increase would do for veterans. And from the looks of it, and uh give a shout out to veteran claim insiders for having this information already readily available. They have a chart that shows what it would look like as far as an increase. So if you look right here for the veteran alone, it will go up to 37, 34, 23, which is $3,734 and 23 cent. And with that increase, for a single veteran alone, that would be $112.28 extra every month that, you know, veterans will be receiving. So I think it's a cool thing uh, um, as far as what they're trying to do. And, you know, hopefully this fall through. And if it doesn't, then, you know what I'm saying, don't lose hope, don't lose focus. Um, You know, keep fighting because at the end of the day, we still got to fight. We still have to live and we can't get frustrated are quit. You know, I remember when I was in Afghanistan in 08, 09, um, our country went through a recession. And I remember many soldiers were talking about at that time, like, okay, well, if we don't get paid and this don't happen, you know, we're not going to work. We're not going to do this and all that. Well, I'm going to be honest to you. Don't let things like this frustrate you, put you on edge and lose hope. Because at the end of the day, man, you know, I know it's sometimes easier said than done but all of these things are materialistic things man and you know i would say my moments in afghanistan has prepared me for this moment which is if they don't pay us if things don't go the way we look forward to it and i have to get rid of everything and have to live um below the means and the things that i believe that i have right now then I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, I can't let nothing stop me from living my life and having peace and just doing what I need to do for my family. You know, I get out here and I figure it out, you know, because as a man, I got to do what I have to do. 
And I understand that there are a lot of veterans who are in situations where health wise and, you know, worst case scenarios the where you, you may not be able to afford, to, you can't afford to do that. And I get that. And I understand that. So I sympathize with you, but what I'm saying is don't lose hope. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him as Proverbs 3 and 5 through 7 says, and he should direct your path. So this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince for Vet Talk. As always, Vet Talk out.